Hello fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at the CG11 Core Graner Saber Grip Blizzard Tamaka from Tamaka Kizanagatai Earth Graner. This is the second power-up Tamaka for Graner X and Saber. And the cool thing about this is it does come of course with the car but it also comes with the head crest piece which can be used by both the robot and the vinyl doll which is pretty cool. On the side of the packaging, of course, shows how it works with the earth brace and the earth handle. And then over here shows how the car works with both Gal Graner Saber and then, of course, uh, Earth Graner Sable Saber Panther. Not too much going on the, on the back there. So that's pretty much it for the uh, packaging. I'm going to go ahead and get it out of the box and we'll take a closer look. So here is Group Blizzard out of the packaging. You can see the little head crest piece. Pretty neat. We'll put that aside, that'll come into play a little bit later on. But here is Core Graner Saber Grip Blizzard. I think this one looks really sharp. I really like the translucent purple plastic. And I think that paired with the silver paint and the black for the windows and the wheels. Just all really cool color combination. Looks really sharp. Here's the QR code. We have the on and off switch on the bottom, so we'll go ahead and turn it on. So we have a handful of phrases there, and it's already linked back around. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all that this one does on its own. But I do think it looks really sharp. I really think that silver and the purple really, really pop next to each other. So very cool color combinations for this guy. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and bring in the Galgraner Saber first. Go ahead and pop the window open, and then we'll go ahead and plug this in. All right, so then you have the uh, type change there. Now to complete the uh, physical transformation for Saber, you want to unplug the Saber teeth, come around to the back here and unplug the claws, bring these back around to the front and peg them in where the teeth were pegged. And then you come around back here and plug these on to the back like so. I think that's kind of neat. I like the uh, like paws, claws, whatever you want to call them, up here in the front. And I think this is actually kind of a cool look. So yeah, I don't know. I like it. But we'll go ahead with there's a couple more fr uh, phrases we can cycle through here. All right, so I think we've looped back around there. But yeah, I don't know what it is. I really like this configuration. It makes it seem more cohesive, a little bit tighter. I don't know. Just makes it seem more together. I like it, though. I really think this is a cool combination. We'll go ahead and do the combination. Make sure this connects properly. Alright, so there is the transformation jingle. Just a couple of final touches here. We have to bring 
the crest in and make sure that gets connected. Oops, sounds like I'm doing some more sound effects there. Uh, you also have to come around to the back and unpeg the saber teeth and they're going to peg in to the sides of the hands and then we will also bring Crow back in and connect him to the back. It was pointed out to me recently that I didn't reconnect Crow as part of the Drift Thunder combination. As far as I know, it's supposed to be on there. They don't think they give you a special configuration for Crow, so you can still do whatever configuration you want. Or you can leave it all up to you. Uh, but there you go. That should be the full Grip Blizzard transformation. I think it looks pretty sweet. Let's cycle through the rest of the sounds. Uh, so I'm pretty sure I've gone all the way around on the sounds there. But this is pretty cool. I like the like giant scythe weapons, basically, on his forearms. I think the head crest looks cool. Sound effects are great. I think this is a really cool combination. Next up, we'll try it with the Earth Brace. So there you go, that's the transformation as well as the uh, special attack sound for Grip Blizzard. And we can get a couple phrases by just cycling through again. Okay, I'm pretty sure I've gone all the way around there. Uh, but yeah, so that's pretty cool. Good sound effects with the Earth Brace. Next up we have the Earth Handle. And you can get the same sound effects by cycling through now that you're connected to this. So, same phrases there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead, we'll try the sword for this one.
To be honest, I don't know if Gran or X uses the uh, Earth Handle all that often, but I would assume when he does, he probably uses the sword. It should be the same sound effects from the car, the Tomica itself, and then the er, the Earth Handle fills in the rest of the sound. So really, the car should be making the same noises, whether it's the sword or the gun. Um, and then the Earth Handle fills in the rest. I really like this Tomica. I think the Grip Blizzard is honestly the cooler out of the two. Not that there's anything wrong with Drift Thunder. I just think this one looks a little bit sharper. Really like the purple with the silver and the black. I think that color scheme really works. I think the combination with Gal Gran or Saber is cooler than the combination with Drift Thunder. And I also think the combination with uh, the full Earth Graner is a little bit neater as well. I will say that Drift Thunder's Earth Grander combination is better than the Gal Grander combination, but I think both of them look great with Grip Blizzard. So I definitely recommend this one, and I wanted to show off that you can use the head crest with the Vinyl Doll as well. So um, that is not included in this. Obviously, the Vinyl Doll is <laughs> sold separately, but I wanted to showcase that you can uh, attach the head crest. It's not perfect. You can see there's a lot of empty space there, and it kind of hangs out in front because it's meant to attach to the robot head first and foremost, but... I do think that functionality is kind of neat. So I definitely recommend this one. Uh, I think it's probably one of my favorites, even out of all six. I think this one is one of the coolest ones, so I definitely recommend picking it up. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks so much for watching.